Alright guys, so this is going to be the fifth part in the Fire Alarm Review Series. So, um, first off, we'll see that we're at my demonstration board, and there's a reason for that. So, first off, you'll see that I cleaned off some devices, because I'm getting ready for System Test 50, which is going to be a little while, but... I got one device up, so here's a little sneak peek. Yeah. But, we're going to be reviewing this device. So this is my Wheelock 7002T-12. This is a 12 volt 7002T. And I do not know the year when the 7002T. Yeah, I tried looking, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, and who is joining me today, now that I think about it? Jack Williamson 54, again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I totally forgot about that. I got a little ca carried away, but... What I'm trying to show you guys is the back of the device, since it's in a tight spot right here. This is NAT3, and... I have a flashlight right here, so you can see Series 7002T-12, 12 volt device, 0 0.125 amps, one zero point five candela. So this is a this very dim. Very dim. Oh yeah, definitely. I think this device is actually dimmer than the um, WST twenty four, which is actually I believe one point five candela. So this is, I guess you could say a can, one candela less than the WST. But yeah, it's a nine eighty eight strobe on the another two T. And the remote horn itself, if it was, if there was no strobe on here and this was just the horn, it would be called a Wheelock 34T. So, yeah. And what 7002Ts are well known for is strobe skipping. 7002 as well, so. There's also, there's also a version of it called 34T24 plus WS24, which is the four wire version of that. That is correct. There probably is, and there's probably one with the um, non-tamper resistant um, one that's, you know what I mean, so. Th I forget, this has the, it's a three, Wheelock 3, sorry, a Wheelock 7002T, not a Wheelock 7002 because it has this, this the closed grill, or what's some... Yep. And they usually refer to this as something like the tamper, tamper, resist, tamper proof um, grill. But. The thing, the T stands for terminals, actually. That is true. There's also, if I were to, if I were to put, take this 7002 T off, you would see that there is a terminal block, so. Um, this device, I believe, was introduced in, like, I believe the late 80s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so that would be so that's yeah the mid to early eighties and this got discontinued um in the early nineties which it actually I remember um someone said that the predis the successor to the seven thousand two T is actually the Wheelock EH EHS DL one which is pretty interesting that's really cool. that is very cool so um I think we've stared at the device and I've given you enough information now we go on to the testing. And for this part, I will actually pull down the MS2, and I'm just going to leave it on its usual continuous. So let's go to that video. So we are back, and the panel's now on, and the fan's up. And since this is a 12 volt device, this is being powered by the DC to DC converter, set at 12 volts. So we are going to pull the pulse station in three, two, one. That is very loud. It sounded cool though. It sure did. So let's reset. 
to set the pulsation. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh. Okay. You want to make sure that the wires didn't touch each other, because if they touched each other, it would trip the alarm again, which is not what I want, so... Um, I'm just going to leave it as that, so... Um, I'll actually reset the panel, and I think that's pretty much it, so, um, yeah. I made a few videos of me testing out this device, so if you want to check them out, um, I think I made two 7002T videos, mine the 7002T on 24 volts. I did not know at the time that this was actually a 12 volt device, so. I took the risk, so I'm going to unplug the panel. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, so I apologize. Okay, there you go. I did that so it didn't... Um, okay, so the parts are going to be having my hand are working hard. Is that ready to help you get the... Are you ready for me to help you get the fire to go before normal? Uh, just give me a moment. I'm going to end the video right here, so... Okay. okay. So, that is the end of the review and testing of the Wheelock 7002T-12. Um, I put it on the fire alarm board so I could test it out with the DC to DC converter, which is right here, because I was too lazy to take the DC to DC converter off and power it up with the batteries, which are over there. What so. Oh, something to keep in mind. I might do that someday. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I will see you in the next video.